This is a new build house in Midtown Toronto. We started construction in 2020. Um, so I've been working with these clients for a really long time and we have had a, a very long, wonderful relationship. The house was completed last year and it's a beautiful family home. Husband, wife, two boys, two dogs. It's in pristine condition. So it's, uh, it's really nice. It is a sunken front entry, which is really nice because it does differentiate the space quite a bit. We did a nice tile inlay for the front entry. We wanted it to look like an area rug or a runner when you walk in. And one of the features that we really wanted to focus on in the front entry and upper living room area is the slat wall that divides the two spaces. Typically you could put a framed wall up, but we wanted to have kind of the open and airy feeling and really tie in the white oak that we have throughout the house. So we had these custom slats made, which allow a lot of light to pass through and still separate the space, but really allow a unique focal point. And we built in a little nook area that does back onto the front entry, just as a little secondary zone, if you will. We really wanted to focus this as an adult space, somewhere that they can entertain with their friends. They can really enjoy the front of the house with these beautiful windows. It's a very mature neighborhood. They've got beautiful trees. We really wanted to evoke a feeling of sophistication in this space. We did so with a lot of the shapes in the space. So we've got this rounded sofa here. We've got a beautiful, very linear fireplace mantle over here. We were looking at doing a cast stone fireplace and ultimately we ended up going with a concrete-like material that was custom made for them. And we actually were able to also use the same material throughout the home for some nice continuity. So we have the fireplace mantle, we have the custom dining table, and we also have the sink in the powder room that's made out of the same material. We went bold in the dining room. We really wanted to create drama in here. I also was very fond of the art pieces that these clients have. They've collected art over the years. They've got this beautiful piece of art framed in this ornate gold frame. And I loved the idea of that really standing out on its own. Hi, I'm Simone from House & Home. Thanks for watching. We just want to take a quick minute to thank our sponsor, ARD Outdoor. ARD is best known for their beautifully designed patio furniture and accessories. Offering a selection of teak, aluminum, stainless steel, and environmentally friendly materials that feel as good as they look. ARD Outdoor has launched the first North American Vendôme flagship store in Toronto. The Spanish brand is known for its modern minimalist look that's perfect for today's cool and collected style. Celebrating 60 years of Canadian manufacturing expertise, ARD Outdoor provides a fresh approach to high quality outdoor living. They do often work from home, and so the main floor office, really, we try to keep consistent with the rest of the design in the home. So we've got the same white oak, we've got the same color palette, and really, it's an offshoot from the living room in the sense that it doesn't look like your typical office. It really was designed intentionally to carry through with the rest of the home. The powder room we had a little bit of fun with. We looked at a lot of wallpapers and ultimately landed on the Queen of Spain print. It really speaks to a modern aesthetic. And we just really loved, again, that it keeps consistent with the color palette throughout the home, but creates a bit of visual interest. We, again, brought in that concrete material for the sink and just a big, beautiful pendant in there. And what I love in that space, too, is that it's not a perfectly symmetrical area. We've got the sink off-center, then we've got a little bit of counter space with the pendant right above. At the back of the house, we have a combination family room and kitchen right beside each other. That really is the hub of the home. We wanted to make sure that this family could enjoy each other's company together all in the same space. So we've got a beautiful wood burning fireplace in the family room back there, a huge sectional sofa so everybody can watch movies. I really love executing asymmetry where we can. I think that it creates a lot of visual interest. I think that it gives you an opportunity to tell multiple stories in a space. We went back and forth a lot with the millwork company on the design of that. We wanted to integrate everything as much as possible so that the focal point was the millwork and the big beautiful stone slab with less of a focus on the TV. So we were really able to work with the millwork company to design something that hit all of our goals and still allowed us to have a very custom looking space that is more elevated than your typical family room. 
and then the kitchen itself is a statement piece. Again, we kept with the same palette of this white oak of the black, but we went for a really impactful stone for the backsplash and the countertops. We really love the browns and the blacks, allowing us to capture this bold, unique look and they are a engineered material, so it allows you to have the look and feel of a natural stone without the general maintenance. The kitchen itself is quite large. The fridge and freezer take up a whole wall itself, so there is a lot of entertaining that goes on here, and even just with their family themselves. And we actually had the dining table in the kitchen area, also custom made by the same millwork company. We needed something that was a little bit narrower just because of the space that we were permitted to really make sure that we nailed it in terms of the scale of the space. We went with a bit of a maximal approach with the repeating six pendants over the dining table and over the island. And that was the extra little pop to give us a unique look in that space. The butler's pantry is right off of the kitchen. It does connect to the dining room. It's a perfect serving area. That's where we are housing all of the daily items like your coffee maker, like your extra bar fridge, things like that. But also for us to be able to shut the doors when there is a dinner party happening, for example, and really keep things clear from the dining room or from the kitchen by stacking it all up into that pantry. It definitely took a couple of years. It was an interesting time to be doing such a large build. There was a lot of adjustment to the typical building process. A lot of things were done by sending photos back and forth between myself and the clients and the builders. The clients have done many builds before and that absolutely contributed to the success of the overall process.